Hey guys, what's going on? It's Blade again from Car Audio Security and today we're looking at how you can improve your car audio system for around £2,000. Okay, so you may be familiar, this is the third part of our three-part series on car audio systems within a budget. So we started off with £500, we've done £1,000 and today is the last part is £2,000. So we've got a couple of options here. So I've done basically an option where you overhaul the whole audio system. So head unit, front speakers, rear speakers, subwoofer, five channel amp, and everything you need to go in between. So that's one option there. And the second option is if you can't replace your head unit, a very, very good quality JL audio setup for your vehicle. Again, with front speakers, rear speakers, five channel amp, subwoofer, and everything else in between. So let's have a look at the first option. Okay, so here is our full overhaul version of our £2,000 budget setup. So first of all, let's go with the head unit. So the head unit I've chosen is a Sony XAV AX3250. Now I have already done a full review of this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you check that one out. We'll pop a link down below, but just to quickly run through it, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, DAB radio, FM, USB and AUX, and a 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen so very very good head unit there price point on that is 390 pounds so we'll put that in the tally so along with the head unit you'll need a couple of other accessories now first of all you're going to need a DAB antenna now this is if your vehicle doesn't already have DAB and you would need to fit this to your windscreen if your vehicle already has DAB then we may be able to retain the factory antenna but usually either of those things are going to cost around 15 pounds so just bear that in mind now also along with that, you are gonna need a fitting kit for your vehicle. So obviously every single vehicle is different in terms of the fitting kit. We have done this on a basis of a very popular fitting kit that we would use, the CTK VW01. Now this is for Mark V, Mark VI Golf, transporters, caddies, it fits multiple vehicles in the VAG scene, kind of later 2000s, early 2010s, it will fit your vehicle. But this is around 100 pound. Now most vehicle fitting kits are in the region of 100 pounds. Obviously some vehicles will differ, but just bear that in mind. So we're gonna tally up 100 pound for that. So next we have our speakers. So I've chosen the Hertz Cento CK165, a very, very good mid-range option from Hertz. Very powerful speaker, good all round sound, and not too deep, so you're gonna fit them in most vehicles. You've got a separate crossover to work with, so you can fit your tweeters up in your dash or in your pillars if you need to. So there's gonna be two sets of component speakers, so that's if your vehicle has separate tweeters in the front and the back of the vehicle. Now, not every car does have that, so you may have a coaxial speaker in the rear, meaning that the tweeter is part of the speaker, but we've gone for two sets of components. These are 200 pound a set, so just bear that in mind, so it's 400 pound for both of those. Now next is the subwoofer. Now the subwoofer I've chosen, I'll be honest, is huge. It's a Rockford Foscate P12X12. So that's two 12 inch subwoofers in an enclosure. So it's quite big. It will fit into most hatchbacks and most vehicles, but I think it would take up the majority of this table. So we haven't got it in front of us today. So as I've said, it's a twin 12 inch enclosure. So it's also ported as well, and it's rated at 500 watt RMS. So lots and lots of power. And obviously because you have two subwoofers, lots of surface area as well, moving a lot of air, meaning you get plenty of bass. So that is 350 pounds. Now, next up, you're gonna need an amplifier to run all of this to make sure you're getting the perfect performance out of every single speaker and subwoofer you're putting into the vehicle. So the one that I've chosen for that is the Audison SR 5.600. Now this has got to be probably one of my favorite and most popular five channel amps that we use to date, purely for the sake of its size, price point and power output. It's absolutely fantastic for what it is really. So it's a very, very small package. Now I have already done a review on this particular amp on the YouTube channel as well. So make sure you check that out. We'll pop a link down below. But yeah, fantastic unit. And this is 500 pounds and that's gonna be able to run your front speakers, your rear speakers and your sub all in one package. So it's not really a lot of wiring you need to worry about either. So plus point for you. Now next up you have your amplifier accessories. So you will need a wiring kit and RCAs and speaker cable. So first of all, the wiring kit I've chosen is a Connections FPK700. So this is a good quality oxygen free copper power kit. This is a four gauge kit to power cable, earth cable and remote with some terminals and bits and bobs as well. So that is 96 pounds, that's your power sorted. Next up you have 
your RCAs that you're going to need to run. Now, because this is a five channel amp, you're going to need a front pair, a rear pair, and a subwoofer pair. So that's six RCAs in total. So to make your life easier even more, I've chosen a Connections BT6550. So this is a six channel RCA in one cable. So it's one run you need to do. You don't need to run multiple cables or have a massive lump of cables running through the car. Makes your life a lot easier and it's fantastic quality. One of the best quality RCAs that you sell. So this is 75 pounds. This is five and a half meters long. So most vehicles aren't ever gonna be that long anyway. So you'll have plenty of length there. So you can run this from the boot to the front of the vehicle to the back of your head unit. And lastly, for the accessories, you're gonna need some speaker cable. So I've quoted for roughly 20 meters of Powerbase AWS 16SP. So there's 20 meters there, so that's 20 pounds. Okay, so that's the main part of the install. Now, there is a small bit of budget left on that 2,000 pounds. So what I would suggest you do with that budget is invest in some sound deadening. So I've gone for two sheets of Dynamat Extreme. So they're big old sheets, they come out about that big. You barely see me underneath it. So two big sheets of Dynamat, which will do majority of around each speaker that you're installing. You might even be able to get some on the outer door skin, just to reduce any vibration that you're getting in the doors. And also it will help to keep road noise out of the car, so you're not getting too much road noise inside. So that will come to 60 pound, a 30 pound a sheet. So what's the price for all of this altogether? 2,006 pounds. So six pounds over budget, I'm sure you'll be okay with that. But I think for the, the price that you're paying and the equipment that you're getting, fantastic. I couldn't think of anything better that I would rather put in a vehicle. Obviously, just bear in mind, especially with the subwoofer, that's gonna be very dependent on what vehicle you have in terms of will it fit. So make sure you just measure up your boot before you go ahead and buy one. So that was an overview of the full overhaul of your vehicle option for around 2,000 pound. Let's have a look at the next option. Okay, so here we have our second option. So as I've said, this is an option if you can't or don't want to change your head unit, or if you've already changed it, you can use this option as well. So first of all, you're gonna need some kind of head unit solution option. So what we'll choose is the LC7i by Audio Control. This is gonna be able to take your factory speaker signal in and give you three sets of RCA outputs. So front, rear, and subwoofer option. Also what this will give you is AccuBase. So for your subwoofer output, it gives you an option to turn your bass up a bit more, but keep it nice and clean. And it acts as essentially a bass processor. So this is 230 pound. So next up, we have your speaker options. So I've chosen the JL C2650 components, a fantastic and very well-known speaker by JL Audio. Very, very good clarity and image from these speakers, and they can throw their sound as well. So if you'd like to open up the doors and play the music very, very loud for an audience, you can do that. But also if you wanna just listen to it for yourself in the vehicle, it can do that as well. So very versatile speaker at the same time. So these are 280 pound a pair. So we've got two pairs of them, one set for the front, one set for the rear. So next we have the subwoofer. Again, subwoofer is not gonna fit on the table for us unfortunately today, but I've chosen the JL HO110 RG W3 V3. It's a bit of a mouthful, but essentially it's a fantastic 10 inch subwoofer enclosure by JL Audio. So it's a passive enclosure, meaning there's no amp built in, but we'll get to that in a second. But it's 500 watt RMS out of a single 10 inch driver in a ported high output, which is the HO and the part number, high output enclosure. Very, very good. As you will probably know, if you know your JL Audio products, all of their subwoofers are fantastic, but this is their W3. So this is their mid-range line, fantastic subwoofer. And it's quite small as well in terms of depth. It's relatively wide, it's probably about that wide, but depth, it's kind of slanted at the back. So you can push it right to the back of your boot. So you're not gonna take up that much room. So price on that product is 500 pound. Now, please bear in mind, there are two options on the subwoofer. You have a four ohm option and a two ohm option. For the amplifier I'm about to explain in a second, you'll need to choose the two ohm option. If you go for the four ohm, you're not gonna get enough power to it. So make sure you choose the two ohm option. If you're not sure on what to choose, just give us a call and we'll sort that out for you. Now, next up is the amplifier. So we've gone for another five channel setup, making your life nice and easy. This is the RD900-5. So this is gonna be giving you optimal power input for all of the speakers and the subwoofer. 
at a very good price point. This is at 580 pounds and size wise, it's not huge. It's not as small as the previous amp, the Audison SR5.600, but it packs a bit more of a punch. So this is a very, very good quality amp. Obviously runs with all of the JL Audio products. It's supposed to run with those products and it's perfectly designed for them. So 580 pounds. Now with your amplifier wiring setup, it's very similar to the last one with a few changes. So you have the same wiring kit in terms of your power. So the FPK 700, 96 pound. You still need your speaker cable, 20 meters roughly, 20 pounds. Now, because you are running the line out converter, I've not gone for the full five and a half meter run of RCAs, as you will be able to run this to very close to your amplifier majority of the time. So I've chosen three half meter RCAs. That comes to roughly 30 pounds. Okay, so that's the full JL Audio setup if you don't want to change your head unit or you can't change your head unit. So price on that comes to 2,016 pounds. So again, just over budget, that 16 pounds is nothing really. You're getting an absolutely banging deal for these kind of products here. So I'm sure you'll be happy with the outcome. Okay, so that was the overview of a 2,000 pound budget audio system. So we've got everything back on the table again. I know it's a lot and I hope you've enjoyed the video. So a couple of things I thought I'd mention. Now with the first option, we've tried to keep it in budget as best we can. Now what we've had to do is go for a, not a bad head unit, but a bit of a lesser head unit. So my advice would be if you've got a little bit more to spend, I would probably upgrade the head unit. Something to a, like a Sony, XAV AX5650, so the big boy version of this, which has better screen resolution, more touch responsive, better sound quality, and it's roughly a hundred pound more. So that's something I would recommend. Now with the second option, you could always upgrade the amplifier. So from the RD series, you could go up to the XD series, uh, which is more suited to the C2 speakers. But saying that it's all perfect as it is, and you'll definitely have a very good sound system with what I've chosen here today. So that's it from me. Now, all of the products will be linked in the description along with videos that we've done on certain products here in front of me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.